All right, students, welcome to this tutorial. Um, we're going to learn about karyotypes, how you look at karyotypes or how doctors use them, and uh, also how do you do your letter. We're going to make a karyotype letter. You're going to pretend you're a doctor and you're going to be writing to um, a family who is about to have a child. Um, the child will be in their second or third trimester, and you're going to be telling the parents, uh, you're going to be breaking the news. Um, that the child has a syndrome. So you're going to be um, learning a couple of um, realities that doctors have to go through when they break um, very tough news to a family. So it'll also help you sharpen up your your uh, empathetic skills uh, so you can be able to empathize with families who uh, go through such hardships. Really quickly, um, let's look at karyotype analysis. How do you look at a karyotype? Remember, a karyotype is a chart of chromosomes. Um, they're organized um, in pairs from tallest to shortest. And the tallest pairs we call the um, chromosome pair 1. Remember, there's one from mom and one from dad. Um, and again, remember, there should be 46 because dad contributes 23 chromosomes and mom contributes 23 as well. So they each contribute 50% of your DNA. Remember, there's DNA in these chromosomes. These are homologous chromosomes um, because they, they're both the same size, shape, they have the same banding patterns and carry the same genes. So what does a doctor do first? Well, remember the process of amniocentesis. Um, you'll see the video clip of amniocentesis provided also right here in the homework center. So you could review um, your knowledge about it and how that procedure is done with the needle and where they go and how they use ultrasound to guide the needle. Um, but really quickly, let's just look here uh, once you have your chromosomes taken from the baby's body cells. So what you do is um, you look across and you want to see that they're all paired. And it looks like the first row is okay. I look across and I see them in pairs. I don't see an extra, so I don't see three or I don't see one less. I don't see one. I see them in pairs the way they should be, one from mom and one from dad. I go across to the next row. It looks fine to me. Pairs, pairs, pairs. Looks good. I go to the next row and I keep going across. Everything looks good. And um, I go to the last pair, and I, and I do see a pair. I see actually two chromosomes. Remember, the 23rd pair are the sex chromosomes. All the other chromosomes, 1 through 22, are the autosomes. They determine all your other traits as well. But the sex chromosomes, they also determine sex. Um, so the, the X is a bigger chromosome. Remember how vital it is? It has a lot of instructions, so it's a bigger chromosome. Very important instructions so that you need to be born with an X. If you don't have an X, you don't survive. Um, you don't even form or develop into a, an embryo. So you need the X. Um, and the Y is um, a smaller chromosome. So if you have XY, guy. Remember that rule. XY, guy. And it rhymes too. And XX means girl. So we have a male that is healthy right here. Okay, so let's look at our homework. So for homework, you're going to be analyzing these karyotypes. And we're going to practice two of them together. You'll do the rest for homework. So I'm going to zoom in here. We can see this a little bit better. And let's start with this first karyotype. Zoom in a little bit more. Here we go. So sample one. Again, you look across, and you see them all in pairs. Good. You look across, you see them in pairs. Look across, looks good. Look across, but then we have a situation here. Look at the 23rd pair. There should be two. There's only one. We have an X and we're missing something. So we have X. What you're going to do is look at your chart. You have a chart right here that's posted on the homework, homework site. Let's see if I can find it right here. Here it is. So we look at our chart and we see what we have. We said we have one X. And if you look across, we find out, okay, it's a single X, X0, meaning that there's no other X or a Y. It's just an X. And so this child has Turner syndrome. And you can read about it right here and what it has. Okay, so now we are going to do some more samples. Again, it has, uh, going back to it, that means it only has 45 chromosomes, not 46. So it's going to have some abnormalities or some, some difficulties um, when it's born. Okay, so let's do another sample problem. Um, by the way, it's still a girl there. It'll tell you when you read the, the uh, chart. Let's look at sample 3. Okay, we look across. Everything's paired. We look across. Everything looks fine. Everything is paired. Look at the 23rd pair. Instead of 2, we have 3. We have an extra, so 47 chromosomes. It's X, Y, Y. Let's look at our chart, see what it is. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Let's find out. 
And just like you might have predicted, we said XYY, and here it goes. We see it's XYY syndrome. And so, again, it's going to have these characteristics. Um, your job is you're going to research these further. You're going to pick one of these only, and you're going to research it. Uh, get, but for the homework is you're going to do all six samples. So let's go back to this. Again, this is the homework we're going to be doing. It's this page you have. You can download it here on the homework center. Um, but your job is to do the same thing. Go through all of these. Look at the sex chromosomes. Figure out what it is. Um, figure out what syndrome it has. And one of these might be healthy. Figure out which one it is. Again, all you have to do here is for each karyotype, just write next to it or write somewhere um, if it's boy or girl, what syndrome it has, or if it's healthy. Do that with each one. So again, look for a spot to write that on this, um, this handout. All right. And it tells you also right here um, what the instructions are. Okay, so that's the homework. Okay, so now the next part.